Mr. Stubbe is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I think one of the things that obviously has come out through all of this is there's a significant lack of transparency in the hospital marketplace. Um, I had the fortunate or unfortunate situation about four months ago to spend four days in the hospital. Uh, it was a trauma type situation, so I obviously didn't have control over what hospital I went to and all of that. But just to give you kind of an idea of what I personally went through and have now a lot of information on this, I mean, at no point in time while I was at the hospital did anybody say, hey, this procedure is going to cost this much, or hey, if this doctor comes, it's going to cost this much. Like, there was no communication whatsoever on any prices on anything. And then this came about, I don't know, a month or two later, and this is the bill that I got. Five pages, single space of all these things that supposedly happened to me while I was there. Um, like I broke my pelvis, I had a punctured lung, I don't know why I needed an EKG, nobody asked me if I wanted an EKG, maybe that's, uh, the doctors are gone, maybe that's just something they do, and they don't ask you, but like there was no communication with the patient about the procedures that were going to be done. Now I, I, I got excellent care, so I'm, I don't want you to take what I'm saying as I didn't get good care, but from a patient perspective, there was no communication about how much, and this was these four days, this was over six figures of just being in the hospital, being told, okay, this is what we're going to give you to this. At one point, I was told, we're taking you in for a procedure, and he kind of explained what it was going to be before I went in there. And that's significantly problematic for patients that when you get this in the mail a few days, well, a month or so afterwards, and you look at the numbers, uh, and you're like, holy cow, like, there was no communication about any of this. Um, it's obviously challenging. Luckily, we have health insurance, so there wasn't too much of a challenge there. You pay your co-pays. One of the other piece of it that was interesting that I've learned through this process is multitudes of doctors showed up during my four-day stay, and I didn't know who these doctors were. They showed up, and then on top of this bill, I got other bills for the doctors that just showed up. I didn't know who they were. I didn't invite them to come in. I didn't say yes or no. I would like you to talk to me for five minutes to give your expertise on my broken pelvis. Um, so there's some significant issues that have to happen, in my opinion, on the healthcare side for the consumer and the patient, regardless of whether it's trauma or not trauma. I mean, I was conscious the entire time, so there could have been communication. My wife was there the entire time. There could have been communication. So my question, and I'll open it up to the panel, is what can Congress do from a legislative perspective to breathe in some transparency so that when a patient like myself or otherwise, Americans show up at a hospital, um, regardless of what the circumstances is, there's some communication between the hospital and the patient of, okay, you're here for X, so this is what we're going to do. This is going to cost X amount. Uh, if you stay one day in the, in the ICU, that's going to be $8,000. Uh, do you have a you know, choice as to whether you want to do this at home or come and do an outpatient? Like, what can, I'm just asking you because you guys are professionals. I don't know. I'm just, I was a patient. Um, what do you think that we could do to breathe some free market transparency and some patient advocacy into the ability to be able to make those determinations? I'll open it up to anybody that wants to comment. Don't all jump in at, at once. Um, I got a couple looks over here, so I guess I'll take the <laughs> yeah, go ahead. part of that. Um, one of the biggest things with the transparency, um, I don't know if you, you want to call it a movement, is that the more we are able to get numbers out there and accurate numbers, um, whether that be elective surgery, whether that be emergency surgery, whether that be emergent trauma care, whatever that might be, emergent imaging or elective imaging, um, the more we get the information out there to have comparative pricing, it's going to keep the, um, um, the, the bad players more honest. Um, they're just not going to get away with with things. And so I bet on that bill, if I had a chance to look over it, I could tell you from almost most of the line items, hey, this is reasonable, this is unreasonable. Um, and that's just me. Um, if you have transparency and actually have that data out there and have claims out there from the person that came before you, and this is what that hospital charged, it's just going to keep that hospital honest if they're not being honest. And I don't know if they are, um, but it's just going to level the playing field and actually have the information available and then the, the bad players will be called out for it just, you know, amongst, you know, the industry at large. 
So requiring, just to kind of summarize what you're stating, just requiring hospitals and providers to provide information on what X service is going to cost, put it on their website or wherever, so that when a patient does show up, they know and have transparency. Like you mentioned radiology, I had apparently 14 units of radiology, and that cost $38,000. I don't remember all of those scans. I don't remember what they were. Um, so you're just saying, like, if there was some information on a website that's public and available and when you show up you kind of have an idea is that am i summarizing that correctly i, I think that's fair fair um i'll give you an example i don't know what 14 units of radiology means but i'll use an example you probably had an mri or a ct scan um the hospital mr hospital scheduled mri is you know anywhere from three to five thousand dollars you can get that for about seven hundred dollars um you know with the same type of study done and so when those numbers actually come out, if it were transparent what's being charged with any given system or entity, it's, the systems will police themselves, right? Um, you know, at that $5,000 study, that the machine costs the same as the $700 study, if there's a 400% margin there, there's probably a local system, you know, probably wherever you receive care that's willing to say, hey, I'll accept a little bit less margin. You know, hey, we're not gonna gouge you like, like that guy did. And so I think you'll start seeing some self-policing and uh, a market correction with some of these um, major outliers. Thank you, my time's expired. Uh, Ms. Moore is recognized.